Hello everyone in YouTube land, Nintendo fanboy, Osama back here, as always. Wow, I just got back from Detective Pikachu, and this is my review for, for Detective Pikachu, the movie. Um, this is obviously based off the game, which I haven't played. Um, I held off on playing it because it just looks really simple. You know, it just looks like a very, very simple game. And that game came out a little while ago. When did that game come out? Did it come out in 2017, I think? Did it come out in 2016? It came out in 2017, I think. But yeah. Uh, and this movie was in the works for a while. Same with that game, too, because it was out in Japan. Um, and all these rumors about Danny DeVito voices, voicing Pikachu. Was that for the game or for the movie? I, I, think, I, I think the game came out. Yeah, the game came out first, and then, a, then the movie was announced. So... I remember that whole thing, who's gonna voice Pikachu and all this stuff. And then, just the idea of Detective Pikachu, this whole thing, like, because cause it's just a spin-off Pokemon game, you know? Just like, Pokemon Snap, or Mystery, Mystery Dungeon, or any Pokemon Ranger, just all these games, right? But they chose, for the first live-action movie, to make... For the first Pokemon, you know, live-action movie, let's just do Detective Pikachu. And when you when you first hear about that, you're like, what? How's why why not? Are you, why are you just making a traditional Pokemon movie? You know, like why not Ash or a trainer going on his journey? Because that sounds cool. Like make it like a franchise, make it a Pokemon movie universe. You know, it's like every you know movie franchise wants their own universe because of Marvel. But like after seeing this movie, you understand why they went in this direction because this makes sense because it's a different story. It's not. You know, just typical trainer, or if they did Ash, everyone knows Ash, Misty, and Bro. You know, everyone knows those characters from the anime, and it, I think it would be just really just, you know, usual stuff, you know, and just whatever. Going on his journey. How, how, and I was, I was figuring this out too. How can they fit that in a movie? How long would the movie be? Would it be three hours? Would it be two hours? You know what I mean? This movie is an, Detective Pikachu is an hour and 44 minutes, I think. And they fit a lot in this movie. This There is so much stuff going on in this movie. The, not just the Pokemon that you see. Because you're, you're going to be geeking out in this movie when you see it in theaters. Go see it in theaters, seriously. I don't know if there's a 3D version or not. Who cares? I didn't see it in 3D. But just go, go see it in theaters if you're a Pokemon fan. I mean, when you go, you get free Pokemon cards. So you get two of them in a pack. Um, and that's all they give you because they're very strict on that. They don't just, you know, like the posters are just sitting there. It's like, no, like they're very strict on that. But yeah, it's just, it's like my childhood, man. I went to the first three Pokemon movies when I was a kid. First movie, 99, and then 2000, and the th third movie. I know they re-released some of the anime movies in theaters, too. But that was only, that, that's very rare. And when they do, it's like select theaters in the country, and it's like one day. So it's like, whatever. But this is something special, man. This is the first live-action Pokemon movie. And again, Detective Pikachu. Like, it's a spin-off game. They decided to go with this. Pikachu is in the title. So it's like, you already know it's Pokemon. So you don't even need... Some people are calling it Pokemon Detective Pikachu, and some people are just calling it Detective Pikachu. So I don't know. I need to look at the poster again. I think Pokemon is in the title. It's on the top. So yeah. It's called Pokemon Detective... Even if it didn't have Pokemon in the title, it would just be like, Detective Pikachu. That's, that's really cool. Because people don't know Pikachu. Just like they know who Mario is. He's just the most iconic... Look at this. Look at, my, look at me. <laughs> I think he's the most iconic video game character of all time. Um, he's like the next mascot for Nintendo. You know, pretty much, even though he's Pokemon Company and Game Freak, but... Yeah, like, this movie is... This movie really surprised me. This movie is really, really good. It's charming. It's touching. It, it, it really... I was... My eyes were a little moist when I was watching the movie. I, there was some good stuff in this movie. And... This movie is... It's its own thing. Like, do you need to play the game? I don't know. Like I said, I've seen some gameplay. I've seen some stuff, you know, when it was announced and all that stuff. It, it, like I said, it looks simple... Um, it's on the 3DS, you know, so it's kind of, you know, <laughs> um, dated in a way, I guess. But it still looks enjoyable, but it looks really simple. You know what I mean? Uh, there's a lot of cutscenes, a lot of story. It's a very story-heavy uh, game. Same with the fucking movie. Like, the movie's bare. There's a lot of story. There's a lot of scenes that just... I, not, I, not in a bad way, but they draw out. They really... They, I don't, I'm not saying it really is slow, but there are some slow scenes where they had to get story out. Um, and it is really amazing. Um, <laughs> I just got back. I just can't forget. I can't remember the character's name. The main character's name. My god. My mind is really, uh, 
blanking right now, but I don't want to spoil the too. I don't want to spoil the, the story too much for you. So if you play the game, you already kind of know what's going on. So it's not like it's whatever. It's a pretty good story. I think it's pretty. It it, it it gives the movie a reason to exist. I guess to to do that. I mean, Pokemon's a huge franchise, huge franchise, and. We were going to get a live action movie sooner or later, but we just didn't know which Nintendo franchise it would be. But now, you know, it's, it's Pokemon. But Pokemon is, you know, a game, like I said, it's the Pokemon company. So they're the ones that are doing it. But it is Nintendo too. So I guess game, game, game. They're like second party to Nintendo. Um, but, but it follows this kid who is an insurance, works for some insurance company. He, he's like a failed Pokemon. I forgot his name. My, I guess my mind's blanking right now on some of the names and some stuff. So. He's really likable. I think he was in Jurassic Park, Fallen Kingdom. Um, so, yeah. I think that was from... I think that's him. And then, yeah, he's a he's a failed Pokemon trainer. I'm not going to spell too much stuff here, but there's something going on with his family, I guess. And the movie starts out really just... I, the, movie, the, the way the movie... I'm kind of dancing around here. The way the movie starts out, is, I didn't expect that at all. I didn't expect the movie to start out really, you know, dramatic and... Oh, this is really cool. I mean, there is some, there's comedy. Like I said, this movie is really touching. It's really charming. It's really cute. There's a lot of funny stuff. Ryan Reynolds, can't forget about him. I'll talk about him. He's voice of Pikachu. Like I said, all those rumors about, is it the game? I think it was the game. No, it was the movie. People were wondering who was in a voice of Pikachu and Danny DeVito and all this other stuff. I don't know. I don't know if he would have been good for that. I, I think Ryan Reynolds is pretty good with the comedy and all that stuff. And you figure out why he talks at first. You're like, what the hell? And this also gives me some... I'm not going to get into that. Never mind. I'm not going to get into that. Um, okay. you, you'll figure out why he talks and there's all this other stuff. And there's a big thing at the end. I shouldn't even said that. But I didn't say exactly what it was. But I shouldn't even said that. And not like a twist. So now you're expecting something. But who cares? It's okay. It's just... <laughs> This movie is really, really good. It's really charming. If you're a parent who loves Pokemon, you know, obviously the games and all that stuff, and the cards and just everything, the anime, take your kid to see it. They probably already like Pokemon. They, already, they probably already play Pokemon Go. Maybe Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. They probably played one of those games because they're, you know, they're 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 the starter type Pokemon games to get your kid into Pokemon. Um, I never played those because I don't care. You know, they just look really, yeah, casual. And it's Pokemon Go on your TV, on your Switch, so. Catching Pokeballs and all that stuff, so. But, yeah, man, this is really, really... This is the first really good video game movie. It really is. Like, it really is the first really well-made video game movie. I, I mean, I love Mortal Kombat and all that stuff, whatever. But, you know, that stuff is dated, I guess. But this is the true, like, well-made. They knew what they were doing. Um, this will hold up for years and years and years to come. CGI was really good. Got Like I said, there's so much to talk, to talk about I mean, in this movie. This review, the CGI is really good on these Pokemon. It's hard to, when you look at Pokemon, right? You look at, if you own a poster, I'm looking at a poster right now. If you look at a poster or some artwork of Pokemon or the, or actually in the games, any games, the spinoffs, the mainline series, any stuff like that, you're like, how do they do this in the real world? Because it's real. Real people, real locations, the sets are amazing. Like, all this stuff, how do you get those in here and it's not alvin and chipmunks this is not smurfs this is not garfield this is not any of that um it's not you know i haven't seen it yet because it's not out yet but sonic the hedgehog looks whatever this is you believe that these pokemon are real and they exist in this world they created a world all right well, an existing world they made they made you feel like wow this is amazing it, 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 when you're watching the movie it not only it makes sense the direction that they went with Detective Pikachu, it, it the, the the designs also grow on you too. The designs of the Pokemon really grow on you. Some of the Pokemon are like weird. There is a scene where you know, obviously, you know, Jigglypuff looks kind of weird. I don't know, but I guess that's how they would look in the real world. I mean, look at other movies that CGI characters. Look at Transformers. Look at look at the Turtles movies. Look at those two Turtles movies that came out a couple years ago. A lot of people thought they were a little gross looking and grotesque looking, but they existed in that world and they looked really good. That's how they're supposed to look in the you know in the real world. Um, just think, big gas turtles, you know, same with Transformers. And there's so much CGI in so many movies, you know. Um, 
some CGI is done better, some CGI is done, you know, a little worse because it's not a lot of talent and the budget, and you just can't pull it off because you have to make it. You, you, you have to believe it. If you don't believe it, the movie kind of falls apart because the Pokemon make or break this movie. They really, really do. And if you don't believe that these Pokemon are existing in this world, it's not, this movie's not going to work with you. The story's not going to work because you're just like, okay, I'm just kind of sucked out of this movie, and it's just, yeah. They look really, really good. Bulbasaur, you see tons of Pokemon in this movie. I mean, Bulbasaur, obviously Pikachu, looks great, furry, and all that stuff. Um, Bulbasaur, there's, like I said, there's a couple scenes where some Pokemon look kind of iffy, like Jigglypuff. But again, that's how they're supposed to look. Jigglypuff looks cute. There's another scene where <laughs> they're battling big Pokemon and all that stuff. You see Blastoise and Gyarados and all that stuff. Then you see Gengar, <laughs> which he looks so weird, his teeth. You're just like, oh my god, this is weird. This is strange. What the hell? But. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's silly. It really isn't. Pokemon is silly, but not not in a bad way. It's just, I mean, Pokemon, the games have their own rule, rules. It, it's its own universe and its own rules and its own lore that it makes, everything makes sense in this world. You believe, you buy it. You believe it. So making this, you know, live action, this first live action movie, that, that's a challenge, man, to get those Pokemon in this world to interact with you mean, you're human beings and they're touching them and these are cartoony characters man these are very cartoony characters it's like what if they make a zelda movie and are all the characters gonna be zelda, uh, cgi i mean who's gonna be obviously you have to have some live action characters like link and zelda and ganondorf or whatever i'm just talking my ass here obviously the mario movie is supposed to be coming that's gonna be all cgi it's an illumination you know, universe that's that's not like the attack of pikachu so that's not a hybrid movie but these like I said, you know, Alvin and Chipmunks, Smurfs, these little, you know, these characters interacting with this. Those movies sucked, obviously, because the story sucked. You didn't buy it. You're like, this is dumb. This is silly. This doesn't make any sense. Um, and it's just, you didn't, you didn't buy those characters interacting with, you know, the live action people, actors. You know what I mean? It just, it just didn't, you just didn't buy it at all. This right here, you see so many the, the city and all this stuff you're just like oh my god they're all around they're all doing their own thing they're all doing stuff for humans uh there's one scene where char uh, charmander is like it's like a restaurant like a shop he's like cooking someone's food and with his tail you, you you buy this you have to you have to buy it or it's not gonna work the movie's not gonna work for you i buy it i really do i thought i think they look really good i think they pull it off Fan it's fantastic like it's really good now, here's the thing with this movie. What are they going to do with the next movie? Like, they didn't... I don't want to spoil it, but... I guess, who cares? I mean, I'm not like, spoiling anything, but they didn't really... I was actually waiting for the... Maybe there's an end credits scene, because, you know... Not because of Marvel does it. I just... I was waiting to see something. The end credits was awesome, though. Like, that... Oh, that, the music, and then the, all the Pokemon, and they have, like, nods to like, the games. Red and blue and all that stuff. You're just like, holy shit, this is so cool. But, oh my god, there's so much stuff to talk about in this movie... Where else do I go? Oh yeah, what are they gonna do with uh, ne with the next movie if they do? This movie's gonna make a lot of money, man. This is gonna make a lot. Like I said, Pikachu's in the title, Pokemon is in the title. People know kids are gonna go. Old school Pokemon fans are gonna go. I mean, this is the, like I said for me, this is the first Pokemon movie I've been to in the theater since the third movie. And those are not you know live action movies. Those are anime. Those are them, you know the original movies. There's like what? How many live action movies? I've seen them all. I've seen all the anime movies. I'm I am an anime, not live action. I've seen all of them. I've seen all of them. The only one I haven't seen is the Power of Us or something like that. So, and they, like I said, that sometime, a couple years ago, they were playing them in the theaters, but you just can't catch that because you're just like, I can't see that. It's only one day and I can't make it. So you can see it on Netflix or Disney XD or something like that. So, but yeah, I mean, seeing this movie is like, you're going back to your childhood. You get the free cards. You're like, holy shit, this is so cool. But not only that, though, it's not just nostalgia. They pulled it off. They pulled it off very, very well. But what can they do? Are they going to make Detective Pikachu 2? Are they going to do another story that's not a detective story? Are they going to do something new? Are they going to do a traditional, like, you know, a trainer going on his whatever journey? I don't know about Ash, but, I mean, we know Ash from the anime. That's it. Ash is not in the games. He's in the, he's in the whatever. I mean, Pokemon's all about you. You're the trainer. That's why it's an RPG. You're the trainer. So, I don't know what they could do. Like I said, if you're not sold in this movie... You will be if you see it. Just give it a chance. You're going to be like, oh my god, they did exactly what... 
what they set out to do. I mean, they, they went in this direction. This story is meant for live action. Not a trainer going on his journey and getting Pokemon and going on badges and fighting Team Rocket and all that stuff. You already seen that. Plus, yeah, you've seen it. You've seen it. You've seen it in the games. You see it um, in the anime, like you, in the movies. Like you, There's so much content out there. All, whatever, how many seasons. I mean, it's... So, I think what they should do is make a new story. Do some new concept. Will they make a new game following that? Maybe they will, like Detective Pikachu, the game and the movie. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, I, it's really interesting. It's really interesting. This is going to open up a lot of doors for Nintendo. The Mario movie, who knows when that's coming out. Um, it's 2021. We don't even see art for it yet. We don't have a poster. We don't even know what Mario looks like. So, obviously, that's separate Pokemon Company and Nintendo. But still, like, this is it. This is it. If you really do care about live action video game movies, you know, it just celebrates it. It celebrates it in a really good way. Um, you're going to be, like I said, I was moist. My hands were moist. I know a lot of people don't like that word, but I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. In certain scenes, you're just like, God, this is really. This is, they really do add some emotional weight to the main character. I apologize, I don't remember his la his name. God, I'll look at the cast thing on IMDb and I'll be like, okay, that's his name. And the girl, too, she's really good. Um, God, there's so many good cast members in this. <laughs> it's just, it's a good self-contained story. That's it. It ends. Don't even do Detective Pikachu 2, because that'd be silly. Um, you don't need to. This It wraps it up. The ending wraps it up. Like I said, the ending is going to get you. You're going to be like, what? This is weird. I'm still trying to figure it out. But like I said, I'm dancing around certain stuff here. All I'm going to say it evolves around this kid. You know, he's 21. I think he's 21. Yeah. yeah. You'll see, you know what I'm talking about when you see it. He's 21, and he's an insurance guy, and he's something with his family, and that is it. It opens up. It involves him. Like it involves him, and it makes you care about him. He's not just some dumb character in a movie where you're just like, I don't care. Like a tra like I, I mean, I like the Transformers movies, but some of the characters were just forgettable. Except, you know, Shia LaBeouf's character. He, he was sent, he was centered around him. It was meant, you know, that... I'm just bringing up Transformers because I'm bringing up other, you know, those types of movies. CGI and live action and other properties. Because it's a property. It's, you, know, it's a, you know, stuff like that. You believe that. But some other characters, like Bumblebee, that you kind of like... This is a forgettable character in that movie. I like the movie itself, but the human characters were kind of just pointless, in my opinion. They were. They were just pointless. Um, even in one of Mark Wahlberg's one, too. Like, those movies with Extinction and then Last Night. Or Night. Yeah, I forgot. Like, you're just like, ah, whatever. Fuck that. Um, even though they weren't bad in the movies, but they were just kind of pointless. And when you watch Detective Pikachu, it centers around him. It's all about him. It's not just he's still into this world and he's, you know whatever it's just he this is you know it's meaningful in a way you know what i mean it means something it's not like it gives a reason to, <laughs> gives a reason for, you know for the movie to exist in a way you know what i mean um but there's just so many other nods like i said there's so many stuff to talk about i was gonna talk, talk about talk about this too hope it's not running too long but you know why not uh there's a, there's so many nods to like other regions like i was wondering what region does this city take place because i didn't play the game I, i'm gonna get the game now just because of that i'm gonna add to my 3ds collection so I don't think it's dropped down in price, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get it uh, not too soon, I'm not anytime soon. But yeah, like like I said, I didn't I didn't play it because it just looks really simple. But I, where does this town take place? What region? Because they were they mentioned a lot of stuff. They hinted a lot, of, and I'm honestly I think there's a scene talking. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna spoil something, but I'm gonna mention Mewtwo because he's he plays a part in this movie, and. He plays a part. I'm trying to think here before I talk. Here, there's a scene in the movie where they talk about Mewtwo. He escapes twenty years. He escaped from Kanto. They mentioned Kanto. They meant, like I said, they mentioned a lot of other regions. So I'm wondering what other region does this take place? But they mentioned Kanto, and Mewtwo escaped twenty years ago. What? What was twenty years ago? Well, the first movie. He escaped. <laughs> um, this is obviously. There's only one Mewtwo, so. Does this take place? In the, is this canon? Does this take place after the first movie? Even though that's anime, but they said they said that in the movie. He escaped from Kanto. One character says that he Mewtwo escaped from Kanto twenty years ago. So I'm wondering what the hell? Like, is this linked to the movie? 
in the anime, like, it's really, really exciting. You know what I mean? Like, that lore, and you're just like, oh my god. Is that a hint to, like, Giovanni? Because they didn't mention any other characters. They don't mention, obviously, Ash. They don't mention, you know, Professor Oak. Yeah, this is their own story. These are their own characters in another city. So another part of the Pokemon world, universe, wherever it is. So, like I said, yeah, they mention, like, the kid. Like, this main, the main character has, like, posters all over his wall. And you see, like, Championship and Sinnoh. I think it was Sinnoh. And then you see Kanto. I think it was Johto, too. I'm not sure. I forgot here. I remember all the stuff. He has, like, just Pokemon memorabilia all over his wall and obviously because they live in the world of pokemon he wanted to be a pokemon trainer it didn't work out i love the be i love the beginning scene with him and his whatever i'm not gonna spell it too much so but yeah it, it is just awesome movie go see it it is really really cool hopefully i'm the only one that's maybe i'm the only one that's thinking that this takes place 20 years i mean pokemon the first movie is 20 years old it came out in 1989 so it's 20 years i mean it's 20 years old the anime is a little over 20 years old, but the movie came out in 1989, we're in 2019, so it's 20 years old. So it is that, does a Detective Pikachu take place bef after this? <laughs> um, that's, is it linked? Like, is it canon? That's really cool. I'm just thinking about it, because, like, I'm, I do that. So, that's all I have to say about Detective Pikachu. It's a really good movie. Um, am I missing anything else? I mean, there, like I said, there's so much stuff going on when you see it the first time. You're going to be kind of, like... ADD or something like that because I can't focus. That's probably the only thing. I mean, I there's a couple of things I don't like about the movie. It moves, it moves, it moves really fast. I guess there are some scenes where it does slow down because it's trying to give you story and all that with the main character and his backstory and his, what's going on with. Nah, I'm not gonna get into that. But there, but the moment there's just so many stuff because you want to look at all the Pokemon, you want to be invested in the story too. So it's not just going to see Pokemon in light in CGI form too, but it's also the story. You want to give a reason to care, but God, it's so amazing to see all, see all that Pokemon, man. Like, it's just amazing. Gyarados looks amazing. Charizard looks... All the scales on him, because he's a dragon, you know. That's what he looks like in the, re <clears throat> in the real world. Obviously, he doesn't look like that in the anime, because he looks, you know, he can't do all that. Maybe they, I don't know. He doesn't look right in uh, that type of animation. In, in this, it looks great. It looks awesome. The artist, whoever he is, I know it's a he is she i don't know but they did a great job he did they did a great job at this the script is great the art the cgi the designs of the pokemon like i this movie proved me wrong on so many levels and i love to be proved wrong because i want to see a good movie you know some <clears throat> sometimes i'm disappointed sometimes i'm not with a movie or a game but this was fantastic go see it go see it a couple times get more free pokemon cards i might see it again we'll see but no, I saw it enough. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't see movies twice or three times in a row anymore. I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. Am I, am, I, am I missing anything here in this review? I'm going to give it a 9. I'm going to give it a 9. Because I do, uh, when I do review movies or whatever like that, or review something, I review something out of a 9 or to 1 to a 10. And I'm going to, if I, I, yeah, some people do 1 to 5, 1 to 10. I'm going to give it a 9. A very, very high 9. And the reason why 10, because it sounds official. 10 sounds official, so. 5 does too, but, you know, everyone's different. Um, yeah, I'm giving it a very high 9. It's a great movie. It's a lot of fun, a lot of charming stuff. It's not a perfect movie. I mean, you're going to figure out at the end, like, what's going on there. Like I said, I don't want to spoil anything. I don't. I mean, I guess I could, but I'm not going to. So, I just choose not to in this video, in this review. I'm not going to really spoil anything. You go see it. Um, what's the point of putting it? I mean, the movie just came out, so I'm doing it now, and I saw it first day, so... I know I'm kind of rambling on here, but I just can't stop talking about it because it's so good. It's the first live-action Pokemon movie. It's just funny. It's very, very funny. It's very funny. The Pokemon are funny. <laughs> the Pokemon are really funny. Especially Psyduck. Psyduck is really funny. That's not a spoiler. Psyduck is really funny. Pikachu is obviously funny because it's Ryan Reynolds. Um... Yes, there's a lot of funny scenes, but it's just Pokemon. You see in the background, you're just like, oh my god. This is, it's just so cool. And then the jokes, too, between the human characters. You know, it's just a lot of chemistry between the characters. It's really good. You figure, like, this is just a joke movie. It's going to be like, Alvin, Chimbucks, and Smurfs. Nope. Nope. I would have been pissed. I'd be like, oh god, why did I see that? I knew it was going to be bad. But nope. It didn't turn out that way. It's really good. So go see it. I give it a 9. So peace out. More random videos coming soon. Go see Detective Pikachu. I gotta play the game now.
even though it looks kind of, you know, meh, but I, I'm going to get into it. You know, I haven't played a good Pokemon spinoff in a while, and this is making me want to go play it now. So, it hasn't been out that long. So, um, like I said, who knows what they're going to do after this. What are they going to do? Are they going to do Detective Pikachu 2, which I find pointless if they do Detective Pikachu 2. They do that. I don't know. Another mystery for what? Just move on to another set of people, and just, it's another. It's a, it's a universe of trainers. So move on to another story. Or not just trainers, but other people. Like do something. I don't know. I can't think of a thing what they could do with another story, another concept, mystery thing. Okay, you sell. It's all good. That's great. Um, I just can't stop. Like it, there are some seasons when we towards the end, or not toward what big thing. The big you know climax. It is so good. It is so good. It is so good. Seriously, like that. <laughs> That's how you do a video game movie, right? Where you're just like, oh my god, there's so many video gamey things in this movie. You're gonna be geeking out. So, I'm done. I'm done. I, I overstayed my welcome with this video. So, peace out. More random videos coming soon. Later. Comment down below. Later.